What's going on dudes, boys and girls, friends and viewers, people who I do know and those I still do not. My name is Colossals, welcome back to another Heroes video. Today we are taking a look at Artanis. Um, he went over a little bit of a rework. Well, not a little bit, actually a very heavy re rework. Uh, but who gives a fuck about rework when you can actually swap people during your blade dash? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves on the Black Hearts Bay today. I, uh, on this level range, I'm definitely gonna go amateur plan. I want to be able to solo some merc camps, boys. Hi. I'll solo bottom. Alright, awesome. So, Artanis. Artanis' trait is called Shield Overload. After, after taking damage while below 75%, this used to be 50%, so this now gives him much more survivability and very, very good ability to actually solo a lane now. A grants Artanis a shield um, for 5 seconds. Basic attacks lower the cooldown of the shield overload by 4 seconds. By the way, the cooldown is, is 24 now, it used to be 20. So it's much, much harder to get, but it's it's still manageable. He's not as tanky as he used to be, but he, he now definitely gets his survivability, survivability earlier. His Q ability is called Blade Dash. You dash forward and then you come back to your original location, uh, dealing damage in both ways. I think your initial location actually deals uh, least damage. Uh, like less damage and then the, on the way back you do like almost double I think. W ability is uh, makes your next two basic attack basically come out immediately like that. Striking um, the, the target either uh, which you um, which you kind of you know, signify to the, to, the, to the character or the, or the uh, first nearby, uh, nearby um, enemy. Or our E ability is called Face Prism allows you to swap your position with the enemy um, you hit with with that skill shot. It's a it's a very it's a slow traveling skill shot. So you have to be you have to be um, very very um, careful about that. Okay, I just put myself out of position. So basically, what I was talking about, uh, you know, when I said basically that you can you can you can queue, you can basically swap somebody during your blade dash. Is that I can actually now use my Q and then swap somebody middle blade dash. So I blade dash like that, and then basically in the middle of that, I can cast at any point. I can cast my E to swap people like very very far, almost almost the entire, almost you know across uh, like half of the screen, which is pretty crazy. I don't know. It, it's 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 such a great uh, playmaker, and um, it's it's actually so um, so popular now in the HGC and the open division. Uh, just it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, so basically, on level one, I picked up the amateur opponent talent, which uh, makes my twin blades deal 150% more damage. So the, the actual two basic attack deal 150% more damage to non-heroic targets, which makes me a very very scary jungler potentially. Also, with my survivability, I'll be able to pretty much solo any camp with actually very very high speed. Uh, he becomes uh, better at taking camps than Illidan and and uh, and stuff like that. Right, so let's see what we can do. In the early game, it's not going to be too exciting as we're just going to be laning. Uh, but I'm going to go and take this camp. I can do this 100%. Shield Surge will be my choice at level 4. What it does, um, whenever this procs, whenever my um, my Shield Overload procs, whenever I'm below 25% health, I'm going to gain additional 75% of the shield. Again, there's, there you go. There's my Shield Overload kicking in right now. And basically, whenever I'm doing a camp, you can see I'm basically do, getting a shield back whenever it, it actually expires, which is super, which is super good, right? There you go. There, there, there it is right back, and I can just kind of sustain off of the shields that uh, I'm generating, which is good, which is awesome. That's exactly what you want to be, do, what you want to be doing. On my way to deals to deal with those giants that were that were uh, kind of made by the enemy team here. Um, also, there's one more thing about I, I forget to mention or more forgot to mention about Q. Uh, our blade dash also reduces the cooldown of our shield overload now as a base. So basically, whenever we hit an, an just any enemy, it's one second. Uh, this reduces the the cooldown by one, 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 by one second, and when you hit enemy hero, it's by two seconds. So that's pretty good. Enemy team coming down to deal with that push. Exactly what I wanted. I do have four. Uh, coins on me, but it looks like our friendly team is able to turn in and we're gonna be gaining a little bit of an advantage after this I do get a bright one TP right here. I'm not sure 
Ooh, almost that got swaps right there, but just not on point. I should I should have probably just did it straight away. Okay, there are three people here. I don't want to be doing this. Right. So the playstyle with uh, with Artanis now is actually very. It should be. It shouldn't be ballsy as as before. I thought. Oh, I thought I hit him. I I, I think I'm like I'm hundred percent positive that I, that I hit him right there. I don't want I don't I don't want him to get too much book though. Oh god. Okay, that was. Where are you going? Uh, so it should be a little bit more reserved now. We sh you should be you should be careful with uh, how you engage, because you're now a playmaker. You're not a tank anymore. You're not you're not as, as survivable as you used to be. You are supposed to playmake for your friendly team. You're supposed to set up kills. I can just walk in here. I have Abathur on me. I do want to grab these coins though. So right, give me half some of those coins. There's a swap. That should be a kill on the enemy uh, Gul'dan. Nice dodge. Got him. Okay, so my, uh, his coins become mine. Give me your coins, brother. Give me your coins. Um, I think I want to go for a team fight kind of build here. So I do go... Uh, I do think... I don't want to come like... Uh, let's see. Do I want to... We have double tank. Oh, you mother... You goddamn Mafurian. That's what I meant to say. We need some heals though. Okay, so this. Again, I thought that hit him really bad. Okay, let's go for the for the playmaking ability here. Um, I am kind of oblivious here to this uh, to this Valira though. Right, let's back off here. Let's back off. There's nothing we can do. I think this Anubrak is actually heavily. Out of position, he might be taken out. No, he'd be fine. But we have to back off now because this is a four v five situation, especially when Varian, especially when Varian is in the vicinity. Uh, I mean, why why don't we just back off? Why don't we just back off? And now probably all of us are going to die. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Okay, let's just just back off. It's okay. Let them turn in. It's only a one turn in. But this uh, Varian now just going a little bit over over uh, over himself. Yeah, that was uh, that was a. Uh, leader right there and looks like our Zul'jin wants to die again he's gonna be overextended and killed off it's okay it's okay we're gonna die we're gonna die all right so I'm gonna solo this camp again again I'm gonna use my amateur opponent to the best of my ability but I wasn't able to play mix for now I wasn't able to set up any kills yet hopefully that's gonna happen soon hopefully I can get some of those gas swap some points I do have 10 coins on me, so I, I don't want to be playmaking too much. You know what I mean? Like I, I want to. I still need to stay safe to not lose the coins. So let's see. Do we have? Do we need the? I don't think we need the actual um, blind in, against this team. I guess it also depends on what the enemy team goes. No, I don't. He went twin blades, of course. Oh no! I thought this was gonna hit him. Got him. Got him good, man. I'm gonna grab those grab those two coins. Grab this vision actually. Um Okay, awesome. We uh we good, man. We are Gucci. So uh we do have a, I do alone now um, uh, have enough coins for a turn in. But I don't want to be like yoloing this shit. And I I don't want to just lose these coins. This uh, Malfury might be actually a little bit out of position here. Zildjian might be able to pick up a kill. But looks like we do lose um, our avatar to enemy Valira. This guy needs to be careful because Valira is right there. Almost okay. He actually revealed her, so it's good. Looks like the enemy team is not actually collapsing on the objective, so I will just just kind of make my way there and pay in. I goddamn hate this map. Like this map is like one of the worst maps to play right now. It's just so snowbally. Like when you control the objective, it's, if you win team fights, there's, there's like almost no way for your team to come back. There we go. There's a little, a little setup to kill, to 100% secure that kill on this, um, um, on this Gul'dan, not Gul'dan, uh, Ragnarus. I, I, I almost have my swap.
Oh, I'm silenced, I'm silenced, I'm silenced. I'm just gonna back off here. Ooh, that's not gonna be enough to keep him alive. I do have my shield, so I can be a little bit more ballsy here. Oh god. Terrible. This team is terrible. I'm sorry, guys, but... Again, I'm trying, but... Uh, like, look at this. We just, and again, like, this map just allows them to, to basically now, now just win the game like that. Because they got all the coins now, after after a team kind of splits and just fights and dies one by one. Um, we should have been capitalizing on them not having Ragnarus, but whatever, for some point, uh, more useful for this AA. Well, I didn't know he's going to go uh, with four Twin Blades, I guess. I, I guess I didn't check. Um... But I do believe um, he stands still when he attacks, which means that it's actually going to be... It's, uh, it's I'm actually going to put him out of position, um, you know, whenever... Uh, well, it, it makes him move, makes him not attack as much, uh, this uh, this pre fire beam. And their, their team is only is only their variant that's, that's auto-attack oriented, so, you know. I'm not going to pick my ultimate, just cater to one, towards one person unless it's somebody, someone who can really carry. And I don't think a Twin Blades variant is enough of a, you know, of a, of a threat to us to actually do, uh, as you know, do us so much bad that I actually have to counter him with my ultimate pick. Enemy team is just waiting for another turn. I'm not sure why we're not doing this. Again, I'm just going to use this to kind of peel off this, uh, this, this guy a little bit off. Valira is not even there. That's a double swap right here. I'm gonna swap him into my Odenberg. Maybe potentially killing him. Oh, <laughs> Why do you use his E so early? I don't understand. You're bad. I'm sorry, but you're bad right now. That's another one of the... So, our Zul'jin just goes in. That's fine. Alright, just back off. Just back off. It's, it's, it's a kill on the on the friendly Zul'jin, and we just can't do anything. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for this camp. Get those. Get those coins. Looks like we are getting. Um, oh, okay. It's it's uh, it's, uh, it's the Abathur doing the camps. Okay. It's okay. I'm I'm, I'm gonna grab those. Enemy team and it does pay in, and that's gonna be another turn for them. Again, as long as you feed on this map, you're gonna just lose the game. Like there's no reason to go into a one v four like the Zul'jin did and tr expect to do anything like you, you can't expect anything you can see how much your opponent coming into play uh just doing a lot of work there all right so let's see the talents we picked up warp sickness will allow me to slow enemies which i just recently swapped there will be slowed for like five seconds no for three for four seconds for a very huge amount it's actually 35 percent, which is actually a very, very big amount um level 10 the, the purifier beam will allow me to kind of ch not, not channel but Start this beam from from uh, from heavens that uh, you know, just kind of stays on one hero. It has a slow movement speed, so as long as they stay they stay uh, kind of uh, you know s uh, static, they're gonna keep taking damage, and it's gonna ch keep chasing them for eight seconds. And then on level thirteen, we will pick up the gra the graviton vortex. Graviton vortex allows us to reduce the cooldown of our swap. Very very good. And very, very good, good for playmaking, but also allows you to swap one more person or, uh, who who's standing right next to the person who you just swapped, if that makes sense. Um, oh, like a nice Abathur just get picked up again. Uh, let's go for Zealot Charge. I like closing the gap a little bit more. Um, Zealot Charge will extend the the you know the kind of uh, the the distance uh, we can actually dive to an enemy to a very very sizable and scary. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep going on, on this on this on this guy. There we go. I, they're, they're fighting in a very very bad scenario for them. Oh, we did get uh, our. There we go. There's a kill. We did get uh, our Brightwing killed, but it looks like this is gonna actually result in us getting a few kills, and we can now turn in. Actually, I'll I'll just I'll just turn in by myself. Um, Can he pick, pick up the skill? I don't think he can. 
Where is she? I'm not seeing her. There's a swap, allows us to close the gap and also put him in, in between our friendly team. And there we go. I think I'm gonna turn in right now. I'm gonna let them get the coins and I'm gonna just go and turn that in. We we, we need to turn in right now. Hopefully I'm not, I'm not gonna get caught out. Hopefully the enemy team, w the friendly team will be collapsing on me pretty soon. I looks like they're going for the top chest right now. I'm gonna turn in, I'm gonna be left with two coins. But let's see if we can get the rest of the coins from the chests. Level 16, we, we did go again for the Zealot Charge, kind of extending the kind of initial kind of um, uh, this this dive. You can see it's actually a very, very sizable dive now. It's, it's, it's an actual displacement. You can use that for an escape. You can use it for a very, very um, reliable engage. I think we can boss. I think we can boss. Uh, especially with my amateur opponent, we can just kind of rape the boss, I think. Uh, we should be able to just 100% get this get this done very very easy. You can see me and uh, me and um, Zuljin can just chunk the health out of that guy. It's already on half half health. Yeah, yeah, we, we this is a good play. The enemy team is just oblivious. Uh, I'm not sure if, if they have enough coins. No, they don't. They are. I'm missing. Uh, they're missing seven. And this just allows us to kind of push us, push us uh, push ourselves forward. Now, the enemy team will be taking care of the boss, so we should be turning in. Um, we, we basically the boss is only there to take their um, you know take their attention away. They have to defend the boss, so they either split and lose a fight in the middle, or it looks like that's what they're doing. And they, they're just leaving Varian. That's fine. Oh, I missed I missed I missed the snipe. I missed the uh, the, the swap. Okay, I get the kill, I get the kill, I get the kill. No, 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 no. <gasps> My god, I have three health. I have three health. I, I'm not sure how much I actually had. It must have been like below 10. But holy moly. Looks like it's a two for one trade right at this moment, which I guess is pretty bad for us still. On my way back, looks like this, this Valira is cleaning up the house. I think she's taking, picking up some coins and stuff. But uh, she might be opening it up on our um, bright wing. So I'm on my way there trying to stop that. First of all, we will be our choice of level 20. We'll increase our cooldown reduction on each basic attack for our uh, shield overload. I think that hit. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I think that hit. Just back off. We need to turn in. We need to turn in, boys. Let that go! Don't chase! Okay, I guess I guess they killed somebody. That's, 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 that's Gucci. I want to get that gold down. No, he's just gonna back. That's fine. He's just gonna back behind the wall. As long as he stayed in front of the wall, I I, I, will, I had hopes that I can get him. But uh, this is gonna be actually one short. We need uh, coins from uh, from our uh, Slugarino right there. Uh, Slugarino is actually. It's fine. Nobody, nobody's doing anything. Okay, it looks like we are just going to go for the for the chest instead. Enemy go down a little bit out of position here. I'm gonna try to pressure him. Oh, okay. The, he's gonna use fear. That's okay, dude. He just used a freaking ultimate on me. I just missed that. That's just hundred percent my fault. So, yeah. As long as he just used pretty much like a ninety second cooldown or something on me, I'm fine. I'm okay with that. Yeah, so basically with the force of will we will be able to reduce the cooldown of our um, of our of our shield overload um, with four basic attacks rather than six. Which is pretty sizable, you know. Um, it just gives you a lot more survivability. I do believe it's it's the only viable choice. Uh, maybe Nexus Blades when you have it when you have a tough time with staying with your uh, staying close to your oh god. Okay, I'm gonna use this straight away. I'm, I'm actually being rooted right now. I'm gonna come in here, swap the swap these two guys to further into our friendly team. Our Brightwing is getting uh, focused right now. I'm trying to kill this um, this Ragnarus. I'm gonna use all of my abilities here, swap him back into our friendly team. This is gonna secure a kill. The Valira is still alive. She still might be cleaning up the heist, the heist, the house somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna try to get some uh, some cooldown reduction off of my basic attacks. Looks like we, uh, this is going to be at, this is going to be the end of the engagement right here. We will be we will come out on top. Fuck! Didn't get the polymorph off in time, yeah man. Yeah, the polymorph is really important on on that boys. 
Looks like the enemy is defending Abathur going for that attack speed bonus. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, this is going to be the end of the enemy Gul'dan. And I'm going to try straight to back. I know that Valira is very low, so she's probably not going to go for the kills here. But I still want to be safe with my health. Just go back. So he became from a very, very kind of awkward tank, which required the enemy team to have no, no CZ at all, to being this kind of a bruiser, the, the playmaker, the kind of a stitches, but stitches which actually exhales at playmaking. Stitches is not a, a playmaker, like, after the actual hook, he doesn't get too much. He has a lot of survivability, he's a big ball of meat. But after he hooks, there's just nothing he can um, follow up. Uh, with um, when it comes to our when it comes to our talents, when he swaps when for example let's say he swaps one person into the friendly team and then um, uh, and then he is left in the enemy team he can still survive he's made for the, for for those kind of situations enemy variant kind of split from the from the enemy team I'm on my way here what I can do is miss is just completely miss I can I can definitely do that as well I'm gonna use my um, use my uh, laser here to try to zone out the enemy um, zone out the enemy normal Furion but um, rather Varian which, which was actually successful now we're just burning the rest of the team down and uh, we should be able to do that with uh, with one more swap oh no I think we should be able just to win the game right here uh, we do have uh, me on the core yeah that's gonna be GG oh, there's nothing you can do there's nothing you can do right now I know, I, I mean, I know you're attacking me, but I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for the core. I'm just gonna go for the core, my friend. That's gonna be good game. So, you can see how this build kind of comes together into this like a beast of a playmaker, beast of a so, like, kind of a, a very the initial burst survivability tank because. Sorry about letting her t get to viewing a lot. Yeah, it was my fault too. I mean, I'm, I'm the playmaker, so again, I'm not supposed to be peeling too much, but he's supposed to be the main peeler. Bretwing is supposed to be the main peeler. I didn't, I didn't land too many good com, uh, too many good um, swaps, but I think I still showcased how of an impact it can be on the battlefield. Just splitting that one team, uh, that one teammate, that one sorry, the one uh, teammate of the enemy into your friendly team could be huge and could be winning you potentially a team fight, uh, a game, an objective, anything like that. Um, Atana is a very, very fun hero right now to play. I think I did get better with him. I used to just get a lot of deaths, a lot of unnecessary deaths, but that's only due to the fact that I was still used to his playstyle being really like in your face. As long as you stay within a, within a melee range, you will survive. And now it's actually completely different. He has, he has to be very, very careful. He has to be very, very composed. He can't just go in and expect to live against three people. He's going to get burned down very, very quickly. Um, he's, he's definitely made for what he what he does, which is fucking awesome to see. I, I'm just super excited for, for Artanis in his current state. Um, as he made me go over the build again, react again. I think reactive party is a very, very bad choice, just because um, it's a it's an expensive block, right? Um, it comes in every three seconds, so uh, every four seconds. So I guess it's less than I think it's every eight seconds than the normal block or five. Let me see who has the block. Uh, I think Murden has block, right? Where is Murden? Murden has block. So every five. So this is once every four seconds, and you, you you actually don't have to actually get that block because you only get it when you actually use your W, and your W costs mana. So I I consider it, and you can also see this is seventy five percent of a block. And Artanis gets a fifty percent block. So eh, I just don't like this talent at all. Even against like maybe when they have like a, a character like maybe let's say Vala and Zuljin who are very very like heavy on that initial burst. Uh, when Zuljin hits you with his, uh, with his, you know, with his this axe, his Q, and then he has this, you know, these two initial like very, very strong attacks, maybe for that. But then again, it's only fifty percent reduction. So I just don't like this talent. I'm I, I'm a fan of either Season Marksman on a on a 
uh, map or a situation where you do not need to jungle or clear lanes or uh, kill an objective like he is amazing on battlefield of eternity why because he has amateur opponent he can deal amazing amounts of damage to the immortal but again uh, your main choice should be a much opponent it allows, you, it allows you to clear lanes faster get merc camps by yourself very very efficiently he can do it but he can't do it efficiently without this talent um and just stuff like that clearing the objective just getting the objective so i think this is going to be your main choice if you do have uh, already enough clear or you just need that little bit more damage or you just don't think you're going to be getting enough use, use of the amateur opponent, you can go for Season Marksman. Level 4, I do go for Shield Surge. I did try these two, but they just don't fit into his playstyle too much. Um, shield Battery could be useful, but just Shield, shield Surge is just so good. Um, again, when you, just, when you just go back into that fight with a Shield Surge, um, with the actual Shield Overload, uh, when you're below 25, it gives you so much survivability. It's pretty crazy. But um, Level 7. Um, we did go for warp sickness. Uh, honestly, anything is used here. Uh, those three are used. This one is pretty much not used just because the Q build isn't viable anymore. Well, it's viable, but it's just not as good as the other builds. Um, so warp sickness will be your main choice. Uh, Chrono Surge was actually increased. Its duration was increased. So this is very good for getting just more survivability because it allows you to get your shield back faster. Why? Because you're attacking faster. So. And it's actually 50%, which is actually a huge deal. And the follow through allows you to get just a little bit more damage out on the field. Uh, like every five seconds, you, you can just get an, a, a, like, like an automatic follow through. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's pretty sick. Um, suppression Pulse, again, uh, I think if the enemy team has a one, has more than one uh, auto attack heavy person, so if the enemy team had like a Vala, Zul'jin, uh, Raynor, Tychus, um, any any of those heroes, um, Varian, they had Varian, but they had only Varian who was who actually uh, likes basic, who likes to basic attack. Then I'm going for uh, for the suppression pulse, which by the way, st uh, sil not silences but uh, blinds everybody in the area uh, for four seconds, which is amazing. It's, uh, it's global ability, so you can be in your base and also cast it to help your friendly team maybe who are getting who are getting en engaged on. Purifier Beam was what I went for because they had a lot of kind of uh, static, a lot of stationary targets. Like Godan likes to just sit in one spot, cast his Q, cast his E, you can just sit there, just get your life from you. Um, he's a very, very uh, sluggish kind of s static hero. Um, again, if Varian wants to survive, he needs to stand in one place and just stand his ground and just attack. So my, that's what, that, and, and also he didn't go for the shield wall, which makes him good which makes him very very bad against abilities and this is an ability damage this is not auto attack so again it's more damage as long as they stay uh, stationary they will be taking a lot of damage um level 13 we did go for uh, the gravitron vortex allowing you to pull one more additional target um who is standing right next to the your initial target who which you hit and then also reducing the cooldown of your uh, of your E by five seconds. Very very just amazing ability. I think triple sec is also good here. Um, if you do not rely on your playmaking as much, let's say your enemy team uh, your friendly team is already ahead a lot, and you just need to push yourself much more ahead. I think triple strike you know paired up with your either season marksman or amateur opponent could do a lot of work. But I do believe Gravitron Vortex will be your main kind of source of uh, source of playmaking, which is just going to make what you're good at even better. Uh, level 16, uh, we I did go for Zealot Charge, but again, double, double tank compositions calls for Titan Killer. Uh, maybe, let's say they have a lot of uh, stationary targets, but, they, uh, but they're kind of squishy, you can go for Cyanic Wound. But uh, I, we, I had actually a problem with catching up to certain characters in that game, so I just said Zelda Charge is going to be good. This is super good against Ragnaros because it closes the gap uh, when he uses his E to, you know, to, uh, to escape. It, it closes that gap which he makes with that additional movement speed, which is pretty goddamn good. So Zelda Charge will, will be my choice most of the time, but again, against double tank compositions, I would go for Titan Killer. Level 20, I did go for Force of Will. Honestly, it's my only choice on the, on this level range. I, I very rarely go for Nexus Blades because I very rarely feel like we need additional damage. Uh, but if I did, I would have went Nexus Blades, maybe a little bit more CC because of the movement speed decrease. Um, yeah, That's been, this has been Ar Artanis. He's super fun to play now, very, very uh, addictive playstyle. Um, uh, he's very similar to Kerrigan, but Kerrigan doesn't 
she cannot sustain herself when the enemy team doesn't collapse. When, let's say, Artanis swaps and there's only like two people and he swaps one person, he can kind of still sustain, try, just try to get away. But Kerrigan, when she pulls in two people and then they just turn around on her and, they, and the friendly team is nowhere to be found, she just, get picked up. she just gets picked off and there's nothing uh, your team, nothing she can do about it. So she's, uh, I'm, I'm saying they're, they're similar in a way that she, they both need follow-up, but Artanis is a little bit, little bit more uh, self-sustaining. He's a little bit more um, like he can take her, he can take care of himself. Um, so this has been Artanis. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did. Leave that like and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel for much much more if you have any suggestions for for the for the videos or any kind of suggestions for the future of heroes what like what heroes should they go over let me know and other than that i'll see you guys in the next one